What if female Deku was vinyl, present Mike's niece? As we go and we're seeing someone on a plane with headphones and a white hoodie flying over towards, well, Japan. And she's staring out a window. As we go to present Mike, who seems to be preparing something at UA, as for some reason, Aizawa sees him setting up, like, what, banners? Um, present Mike, what are you doing? Oh, I am just setting up for my niece. Wait, you have a niece? You don't remember about my sister I told you about? When was this? Oh, come on, you forgot about this? I told you all the way back when we went to hi, when we went to UA together. You don't remember my sister? She lives abroad. You mentioned her once, but you never mentioned that she was married. You never asked. Fair point. So, why are you preparing? Because my niece is coming over. She's coming to Japan, and I can't wait to, well, celebrate with her. Also, she loves music. And more precisely, DJ music. Unfortunately, I love the amount of singing and all that, but she's more into DJ. I assume she has a sound quirk like you. Actually, she does not. You see, my, uh, my niece uh, was born without a voice. Oh, so she cannot speak. Yeah. So unfortunately, she cannot. So that's why she loves DJ. It's kind of like music that she can understand to fulfill her empty heart of the fact she cannot sing. So I'm guessing your, well, niece loves, well, DJs. Pretty much. That's why I've hired a DJ to come to UA to celebrate her arrival for visiting and also for her to take the exam. What is her quirk? Oh, sound amplification. Kinda like yours? No, no, no. My voice is I can amplify. I can amplicate my voice. She can amplicate sounds from anything. So imagine this speaker. Yeah, like this one I'm wearing. Imagine me, like how I speak so loud. Imagine her increasing it ten times. Wow, that. That is broken. I know, right? But unfortunately, she doesn't really able to use it. It's more of a support quirk. And the fact she doesn't have a voice when anyone mentions, well, why doesn't she try to sing and all that? It puts her down. So, he gives Aizawa a glare. Do not be mean to my niece, Aizawa. Even if we're friends, if you be mean to my niece, you'll pay. Man, you really like your niece. Yes, I do. Now, if you excuse me, as looks at the time, I gotta be in the airport exactly one hour. As he runs out of the room, as Nezu enters, what was his deal? Apparently, his niece is coming to Japan. Ah, uh, you must mean Vinyl. Wait, you know the name of his niece? Of course. After all, she, well... Well, a student recommendation form was handed to me by President Mike. Oh, uh, she is she is coming here. Yep, and she's supplying to the well hero course. She'll be in your class, Aizawa. Oh, great. Hopefully, she's nothing like President Mike. Who knows? As we see the plane land, and we see well, vinyl Deku well walking out of the plane with headphones on. As She's walking with her bag, and she's just waiting at the pickup. And she thinks, where's my uncle? Of course she can't think, so... Or, sorry, of course she can't speak, so I'll be describing her thoughts. Where's my uncle? He should have, he should have been here by now. Well, I guess I can turn on some tunes. <laughs> As she starts to listen to some DJ music, and she starts tapping her feet. As then we just hear... Well, a car arrived, it's saying, President Mike has arrived! As he pulls up in like a long car. And there's my favorite niece. As he gets out of the car and hugs her. 
as she hugs back, while still having her headphones on, and simply just, well, does some sign language. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, why am I late? Well, I had a conversation with my friend and kind of got sigh attracted. I was also setting up some things for you. I also got your bag sent by your mother. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Yes, she was very specific about your, well, medication. I still don't know why you need that medication. All right. When you use your, your cork and all that, I forgot. Hey, don't get mad at me, young lady. Okay, fair point. What's my fault for being late? I, I think you'll like this one one-sided conversation, so I'm going to keep it like that. All right, now, do you want to get in the car? As she sign language is yes. All right. As they get in the car and start driving towards you, eh? So what music should we turn on today? Well, I heard that there's this new DJ-type music that just released. As he starts playing it, as she just starts jamming out to it. As they're both just jamming out into the car. As... Of course, if you were anyone else, you would think this is just absurd. And imagine you just hear this car flying down, playing G DJ mu music down the streets. Yeah, basically the civilian's wondering what's going on in that car. As they arrive at UA, as of course he parks his car into the parking lot. Alright, we're at UA, as he, well, symbolizes to UA. As she does some sign language to say, this is the hero school? Yep. I've told you that, after all, it's my work. As she sign languages again, saying, how long have you worked here? I've worked here for several years, and my colleague, Eraserhead, Aizawa. The guy that is a, is a homeless guy, right? He's not homeless, although he does fit the look of it. He's not. Suit yourself. Anyway, let's walk through the gates. As President Mike, of course, to make sure the security system, security system didn't go off on her, gave her permission. As they walk to UA, as she does some sign language, where I will, where is she going to be staying? Oh, you'll be staying in the dorms. I've already discussed with Principal Nezu about it. Because even though you, well, cannot stay, uh, even though you're going to be a student here, I can't you having staying at my place, unfortunately. As she signals why. As we get a look at his place as it's been trashed. A villain attack. Just that. Just saying that. Suit yourself. As they're walking down the halls. As midnight well comes across. Uh, present Mike. Who may this young lady be? Why this is my niece. Why hello. As she exchanges her hand. As she takes off her headphones. And shakes uh, Midnight's hand. I didn't know you had a niece. Of course, no, I don't talk to her, talk about her much. Yeah, you know that's a lie. I knew you had a niece. Or sorry, I didn't know you had a niece. I knew you had a sister. Yes. In fact, this is my niece. Of course you know. Yes, and, uh, why is she here at UA? Well, she, she'll be attending UA here. Well, hopefully she's in my class. Unfortunately not. I've already recommended her, and she's going to class 1A. Oh, uh, well, a person could dream, right? I suppose so. Also, um, I do have a question for you, Vinyl. As she does some sign language. What is it, Uncle? Why did you send a whole DJ set to me, uh, well, with your stuff? Do you want to know? Yes. You want to rock out? Wait, is that why you brought the stuff? Okay. Note, uh, what are you planning? Something you will like. Noted. As Midnight just, just confused. What is she talking about? Oh, you see, my niece is mute, so she communicates through sign language. Oh, I see. Well, it's hard. It's sorry. Well, I guess it's bad. 
man, it's really... I really cannot put into words what, I, what I'm supposed to say here. Yeah, most people don't understand what to say here either. Well, anyway, I need to take my niece to the dorms. Very well, as she steps aside, as they start walking again. As he goes to the dorm building with her. Of course, I put you in the room you requested. Thank you, Uncle. As we go into her room, well, to her room in the dorms, as... Well, Mike has not seen her room because it was set up by the... Not... It was set up by, uh, Nezu. As he opens the door and is just surprised to see a whole lot of DJ equipment. You have a whole DJ set in here. He just, she just nods. Um, do you know if any of your friends will be here? As she just, uh, puts one, one finger up. Ah, I'm guessing that's, uh, your friend from back home. She did say she was coming here for UA, right? As she nods. Well, um, oh, look at the time. I gotta get back to hero work and back to the school as he just disappears. As, well, she can't really chuckle, but she puts her hand over her mouth seeming like she's laughing. As she then just looks back at her stuff and sets up the DJ set and just starts, well, doing some tunes. As, of course... The third years who happen to live on campus can hear this from the first year dormitory. As it seems like a party is going on and all that. And even the UA class, well, teacher's lounge can hear this. As Aizawa makes his way there. And starts knocking on the door. As Vinyl can't hear him because she's just jamming out some tunes. Of, well, DJ, DJ tunes. As she opens the door and just sees Vinyl rocking out. Vinyl! As he yells, as she takes off the headphones and stops. Why are you amplifying the DJ music across campus? As she just does some sign language. What are you saying? As she just simply hits herself on the face and just grabs, well, a pencil and paper. I didn't know my quirk was active at the time. Well, keep it down, please. I could hear it from the teacher's lounge halfway across campus. As she writes, very well. Uh, as he walks out and sees a cat. Why is there a cat here? That'd be Jerry. Jerry? My mom sent my cat here. Why? You want to pet him? Of course. As Nezu proceeds to go pet the cat. Or sorry, not Nezu. Aizawa pets the cat. As now she thinks that will keep him busy. As she goes and closes the door. And just, well, lays down as she starts thinking. I wonder what my time at UA is going to be like. As we, well, basically skip to the entrance exams. Now, she's already recommended. She's pretty much already has a confirmed spot into UA. Because of her uncle, present Mike. But she goes to observe the, uh, well, the exams. As she's just sitting in, uh, well, the observation room with present Mike. As All Might enters the room with all the faculty. As they ask, why is there a girl in here? As President Mike speaks, oh, this is my niece. As everyone's confused, you have a niece? Yes. Did I not tell you about my sister? Who lives in America? Seriously? No one? Yeah, you never told us. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Maybe I have not mentioned her that often since high school. All right. As she does some sign language. This, seriously? Final? What did she say? Oh, well, my niece can't speak, so she speaks through sign language. 
and she just say, "Pretty much, I am a a jerk for not speaking about mom." Yeah. What? I love my sister, Vinyl. All right. Sorry, I don't get in touch with y'all that often, and don't talk with you all that often. Although that that party last year was amazing, by the way. Yes, yes. Of course, it was all over the news. But that's what parties are so to be about. Um, what is she talking about that was all over the news? Oh, did y'all not get that uh, video I sent a while back? Uh, about two years ago. Yeah? You know where I was performing in a stadium? Yeah? In America? Yeah? And I may have broken every uh, window within... Well, the last 500 miles. As all of them are like, what? Yeah. It, listen, it wasn't my fault for about one-fourth of the way. It was also my niece's fault. As she she just does some silently we're saying, you jerk. What is your niece's quirk? Well, she can amplify sound. That doesn't sound too powerful. Pretty much by uh, a lot. Imagine like a volume button. So? And ma imagine putting that at 100. Okay. And now imagine that on a speaker. Okay. Yeah, she probably has enough power to demolish the building. If she goes full out with her tunes. As they just look at her. And she just is like, what's up? With her with her hand. And she then puts on her headphones once again. And starts to listen to some more tunes. Yeah, she's in a bit of a rebellious phase, you see. Rebellious phase? Yeah, she um, hasn't been getting along with her mother lately. I don't know why. She doesn't want to talk about it. One reason she wanted to come here early. How long has she been here? Oh, she's been here for like a week. You gave me? She's been here for a month. As he looks over at a racer head. Yes? How could you forget she's only been here for a month and not a week? On my defense, as Vinyl just proceeds just to hit his head. Okay, maybe that was deserved. As she then sign language is, Don't you dare, young lady. I need my tunes. Nope, no, I'm not even gonna say that. What'd she say? She threatened to cut off all my music music for a month. How could she do that? You obviously don't know the Mike family. Is that seriously y'all's last name? No. We just have that as a nickname. We're called the Mike family. Because our corks have to do with mics. Volume, all that. You know what I mean. Yes. Uh, but she does have the power to pretty much cancel out my tunes for a month. How? Yeah, you know, you don't get where she does control the link of sound. She can make it sound like zero as well. As their draws just drop. So she can pretty much make me death from all types of music. As they look at her, as she just nods. Okay, your uh, niece has some impressive, as an impressive quirk. I know, right? You should see her when she's de doing her DJ work. DJ, she's a DJ. Well, she does. Yeah, uh, she does do a DJ gig sometimes. In fact, when did you get your mother's permission for that? Wait, it was seriously after that incident. As she nods. Wow. So she's been doing it for about a year. Or two. Uh, whenever that incident was. I forgot about. That I mentioned. So. Don't mess with my niece. As all of them just nod. As then we hear the mess up of the. Zero pointer. As she just. Well on her phone and all that. As Nezu's, as Aizawa says, you gotta stop that thing. 
is this about to stop a student? As she looks up and just simply does a loud breeze, which is coming through, just simply blows the rubble off the student because of the increase of the sound of the breeze. Destroy the rubble as she gets up and out of the way. As she goes back down to her phone. How did that happen? Oh, I can have two guesses of who did that. As Nezu turns over. That was your niece, Mike, wasn't it? Yes. How far is her range of the quark? Um, I don't know. Final? She just simply says, I don't know. Okay, so she may have an unlimited range. Probably not, though. She probably has a range. Anyway, um... Well, the exams ended shortly after that. As Vinyl gets up... Did you see your friend on the uh, monitors, Vinyl? As she does some silent language saying yes. Yes, it's good that she made it into UA. Well, I guess you'll be seeing her on the first day of school in about a week. As she nods. Oh, and one more thing. Could we please do that, you know, what? The, you know, amplification quirk one more time during you know when? As she sign language to the sports festival? Yes! Suit yourself? But alright. But you owe me. Alright. I'll get you what you want. What do you want? You want a new DJ set? You want an application of uh, the latest DJ records? What do you want? You want access to the secret DJ security system I installed. She nods. How do you even know about that? As Nezu just walks over. Me. But I thought we said that thing was off limits. Because it could be controlled by someone that knows how to do DJ. Yes. Why do you even install that thing? One, it's because it's probably the best security system type thing I could get at UA. And also, it can be used by anyone, really. It can also broadcast DJ noises throughout the entire of the, of the UA. As she just says, now we're rocking in sign language. Uh, I don't think I can give her permission for that. Oh, you do. You just gotta get the permission from three other faculty. Alright, if I get permission for that, will you do that for me? As she nods. As he's off to get signatures. Well, your, uh... Well, uncle is really a pain sometimes. As she just nods her head. And she starts to walk away. Oh, and Vinyl, before your first day of UA, I will have to mention, there is going to be a strict, uh, no headphones policy, as she just then lowers her glasses and just glares at Nezu. Maybe I can make an exception just for this time. As she just walks away. Man, she has the same stare as President Mike when you threaten to take his music away. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, anyway, this year is sure to be interesting. Hopefully y'all enjoyed part one of what if Deku was... Or what female Deku was vinyl. Present Mike's niece. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe.